Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for this morning. I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you touch this message, Lord, that you encourage your people to carry all our concerns and cares to you and leave them there in the arms of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. This devotional today, carry all your concerns to him in the arms of faith. This is by James Smith. Let's go over to 1 Peter 5, 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Casting. And that word there means to throw upon. (laughs) Throw all your care upon him, for he careth. He is interested. He is concerned for you. Casting all your care upon him in every want or pressure. The Lord knows all his people. He knows all their needs. He knows all their trials. He thinks upon them to bless, to deliver, and to supply them. Hallelujah. I love this. This is such a comfort in knowing that our God cares for us. He loves us. He's interested in us. He's concerned about us. He thinks upon us to bless, deliver, and supply us. He keeps his eye upon them, his people, in all places, at all times, and under all circumstances. I want to read that again. He keeps his eye upon them. In all places, at all times, and under all circumstances, he has them in his hand and will not loosen his hold. He says, nobody can tear you, snatch you out of my hand. Nobody, nobody, no circumstance can snatch you out of my hand. He looks upon them always as his own treasured possession. The objects of his eternal love, the purchase of his son's blood, the temples of his Holy Spirit. They are precious in his sight. We are his jewels. Now, starting out, we don't look like a jewel. But as time goes on and the Lord makes us into those beautiful jewels, His jewels, through trial, through tribulation, through testings, His people, they are precious in His sight. He knows they are weak, and he knows at times they're fearful. And he also knows that they have many enemies. He teaches us to cast ourselves and all our cares into his hands. He has given them his promise that he will care for them. You know, it's a good thing to get one of those little King James Version Bible promise books. And in there, there's all kinds of things that the scriptures cover. It's a good thing to have one of those. And when you're going through something... 
Just look through there. Just grab hold of a promise of God. Write it up and put it on your wall. When the devil comes in like a flood and says just the opposite of what God's word says in his promises, say, no, devil, look. Just look right over there at that promise on the wall. That's what my Lord says. It is a father's care which he exercises. It is a wise, holy, and tender and constant care. It's not just hit and miss. It's constant. A constant care. Therefore, all will be well with you. Only trust him. We have to have this attitude, y'all. A heart attitude. Believe that he cares for you this day. Carry all your concerns to him in the arms of faith. Leave all with him, persuaded that he will manage all that concerns you by his infinite wisdom. And as well that he will bring all to a good outcome by his omnipotent power. And here it is, y'all. Do not worry about anything. Cast all your cares upon him as fast as they come in. And sometimes they can come in pretty fast, can't they? Seems really overwhelming at times, doesn't it? Do not worry about anything. Cast all your cares upon him as fast as they come in. Let's read Psalm fifty-five twenty-two. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Once again, cast, throw, hurl that burden upon the Lord. And he shall sustain, he shall make provision for you. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. I want to read John Wesley's commentary on this. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, all thy crosses and cares and fears. Lay them upon the Almighty by faith and prayer. He directs this speech to his own soul and to all good men in like circumstances. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Suffer as he doth wicked men. Though he may for a season suffer them to be shaken, yet not to be overwhelmed. See, if we would just keep the right mindset, even when there's such turmoil on the outside, and we cling to the Lord, pour our heart out to Him, there's nobody that understands like Jesus. There's not one person that understands like Jesus. We can pour out our heart to Him about anything, We can cast all our cares, all our burdens upon him. For he cares. He's interested. He's concerned about his people. Let us keep this in our mind and heart today. As we go through the day and through the weekend, through every day. Jesus wants us 
to come to him with all our concerns. Cry out to him, and he will answer. In Jesus' name, amen.